I think it's interesting to reflect that two years ago today, um, Boris took our country, the UK, into lockdown, and we all obediently went home. And some time ago now, we came out of lockdown. Well, we did anyway. Not everybody did. Uh, lo lots of government agencies, lots of institutions, seem to work on the principle that we are still in lockdown, and you still have that infernal, infernal message that uh, people are working from home because of COVID, blah, 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 blah. Uh, banks, my union, for example, equity, every time I try and get information, I can't get through because no one answers the phone and, um, and we're told to be patient because of lockdown, because of the COVID pandemic. Well, we're supposed to be out of lockdown now. And, you know, um, so many, so many organisations have hidden behind COVID uh, in order to demonstrate their indolence. Um, uh, government ministries. I mean, I cannot, I, I cannot begin to tell you. Well, I will tell you. I will tell you. I, this is my Frankie Howard moment. Um, I will tell you how many times I've written to Nadine Doris, the, uh, the minister for... Um, uh, culture ministry, uh, culture business, uh, culture, um, the arts, sport and digital media or something. Um, this extraordinary acronym that I can never remember properly. Many times. I, I think I've written to her now five times and I've never had a reply from her. I did finally get a sort of desultory reply from one of the junior ministers, um, but only then after I'd written directly to uh, Boris, I don't understand the relationship between Nadine Doris and Boris because uh, you write to Boris and then suddenly there is some sort of response. But it took her, it took six months before we even got that much. Um, and uh, uh, the other thing about her, did, did you did you did you know? It's extraordinary. Various bigwigs in the government have had uh, fake phone calls from um, Russia. Fake phone calls of people pretending to be uh, the Ukraine president and so on. And one of those people, one of those ministers, it turns out, was Nadine Doris. Why would anybody from Russia bother to call Nadine Doris? What is she? She's the minister of DCMS, the Digital Culture, Media and Sport. I got it right that time. I don't see why they would be calling her unless she's got some strange, immediate link to the Prime Minister. Has she? Is there something going on that we don't know about? If there is, I would like to know, because maybe, maybe the next time I want Miss Doris to reply to me, I would just simply write directly to number 10. Does somebody know something I don't know? And incidentally, I still haven't had my proper reply. What I got was a, was a fob off by a junior minister with, who directed me to, to go and talk to people who actually, when I spoke to them, confirmed, as I knew, that, uh, their, uh, that um, my issue wasn't covered by their remit at all. So it was just nonsense. A lot of verbiage from the said minister. Now, I haven't said who the minister is. Frankly, I can't remember. Junior minister in the DCMS. But, you know, we're out of lockdown. We should be working. We should be working. We should be a fully functioning country. There's a war just at the end of Europe. You know, what would we do if the war got further over here? Would some of the ministers still, still claim then that because of COVID, we aren't answering the phone? Um, it's nonsensical. Come on. Get out of lockdown. Get back into the office get those phones working and answer the letters that you get.